How's it going, you guys? This is Jake Allen here. Today I am uh, showcasing you some Takamine guitars, and um, I'm gonna walk you through a little bit of why I play these instruments and why they work for what I do. So um, I, I first got into Takamine guitars back in uh, my early teenage years when my dad actually owned one. He owned a EF341SC, which is that iconic black Takamine guitars or guitar you see in so many people's hands. And um, he uh, actually was at a gig outside, and it was sitting in a stand on a stage elevated, and a gust of wind came and blew the guitar over onto the ground, and the headstock snapped off. So he glued it back on and screwed it back on, and he gave it to me and got himself a new one. <laughs> and I was like, oh, thanks. I wonder if it'll still work. And uh, I got it into playing it, and at the time I was getting really into fingerstyle guitar and that kind of percussive tapping stuff. And I plugged it in for the first time, and I was like, wow, this guitar really translates that style of playing into a live amplified environment, which was a really big deal for me because I hadn't found a guitar that had been able to do that up to that point. And um, so I, I dove into Takamini and tried to learn why it was so good at articulating those types of playing styles. And what I found was all of Takamine guitars have this really awesome exclusive pickup built into them called the Palathetic Pickup. And it's a under the saddle, um, under, under the bridge piezo pickup, like a normal piezo, but it is very robust, built deep into the guitar, and the piezo elements inside are about 12 times the mass of the closest competitor. So it results in a, a very high output, uh, very robust, balanced tone from string to string. And the byproduct of that is that it picks up the body very, very well um, without having to modify the instrument at all. So uh, for me, it worked in that sense, that I could hear all of the percussion and that I could go to these alternate tunings and I would um, tune down and, and all over the place, really. And I would never get any dropouts like you do on those regular piezo pickups. So I was able to jump around, do all these tunings, play this percussive stuff. And it was like a really bulletproof system that I found to be very appealing. And I haven't played anything else since. So um, right now I'm, I'm holding a P3NC Takamine, which is from the Pro Series. And uh, this is uh, one of my favorite guitars. It's a, it's a satin top, and it says a cedar top. And um, it has a sapele back and sides as well. And it has this very natural feel about it. And uh, the cool thing about Takamine's electronics as well, besides the palathetic pickup, is that the preamps in these guitars are interchangeable. So this unit right here, I could pull this out and swap it out with another preamp from Takamine. And there's a variety of those. This one is equipped with a CT4B, which is the kind of standard preamp that, is, that comes in most Takamine guitars. But there's also um, the cool tube, which actually has a tube in it, which I'll get to in a bit. And there's also a, a really great new one called a CT4DX, which uh, both of those you can also plug an additional pickup into and tweak it to your liking. So each preamp has a little bit of a different flavor and a little bit of a different advantage, um, but they're all across the board, really solid, really great sounding preamps that pair really well with the Palathetic pickup. So um, I'm gonna play a song for you guys that requires some footwork here. I have a looper pedal and uh, some effects. And what I also really love about this electronic system is that it handles effects like no other guitar. It's, it almost handles them like an electric guitar would. And uh, because the pickup is built so deeply embedded into the guitar, you get very little feedback issues. So I could be standing on stage with a monitor right in front of me with um, distortion you know, or overdrive on the guitar. And it takes a while to feed back, a lot, a lot longer. You have a lot more time and you can get away with a lot more than you would with a, a standard guitar because of the electronics. So I'm going to kind of give a little example of that by playing this song, which is actually by Gautier. It's called Save Me. And uh, we're going to hear some effects. We're going to hear some looping. And we're going to hear uh, a wide array of, of why I choose Takamine guitars.
myself again Running through all the options Okay, so I'm going to swap guitars right now and uh, pick up a different Takamine, the Santa Fe model, which is equipped with a cool tube preamp, so we'll dive into that a bit. So I'm currently holding the Santa Fe Takamine guitar, which has a spruce top and Indian rosewood back and sides. And this is a, a really great workhorse guitar, but also just a really beautiful guitar with this Native American design kind of flowing throughout and this eagle inlay on the neck here. And uh, so as I was saying, this guitar has a cool tube in it, which is one of my favorite preamps from Takamine. And it actually has a little tube inside the preamp and uh, it stays nice and cool. That's why it's called the cool tube. But it adds this huge dimension of sound. And I remember the first time that I heard this preamp, I was playing at a little open mic, actually, in this tiny little town in Arizona. Terrible PA system. It was just, like, really, really janky setup. And I, I plugged in the cool tube for the first time in my guitar that night. And I remember turning it on, dialing it in, and even on this terrible little PA system, I heard what came out, and I just kind of started laughing because I couldn't believe how amazing this preamp made my guitar sound. So I'll go ahead and, and give you guys the, um, the A-B comparison. So there's a little dial here on the pre where you can uh, adjust how much cool tube you want. So we'll start out with um, no cool tube and see what we, what we get here. So. So 
So it doesn't sound too bad to begin with. But I'm going to start dialing the, the cool tube in slowly. So as you can hear, it takes on this big 3D sound when you dial that in. And uh, to me, that was just one of the coolest things that uh, I'd encountered with Takamina guitars. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and play a song here that is from my new record, Affirmation Day. And it's a song called Prog 6. Help me find what's right 
Well, thanks for hanging with me, you guys. My name is Jake Allen. If you want to learn more about my music, you can visit jakeallenmusic.com. And if you want to learn more about Takamine guitars, visit esptakamine.com. It's easy. <laughs>